Lord with me and God present together but me by the Lord with me let us pray with me together I by the Lord with me let us pray with me together oh but me by the Let us pray with me. 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 God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I declare Convention 2017 open. Amen. We give you, give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you. Keynote address is captioned a dream come true. A Korean or a Quiller for me, only Mopini Allah, you was in Russia. Beloved brethren, the Lord has definitely done the things for us for which we are exceedingly happy and glad. I am personally so glad that I feel like starting this keynote address like the psalmist when burst into tears, which, which of, God, of course I read part of it one. I want to read another one who says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Magnify the Lord with me. Oh, 
today to commence our first ever annual convention in this jungle turning into a city. Jungle turning into a city. This is what I call a dream come true. That the sea forest which was used to be the abode of bisons and other dangerous animals could be turned into what is becoming a city within such a short period of time for our convention is a miracle. It is the Lord swing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Going down memory lane, you will recall I told you that when we found that uh, the, the gospel the gospel town in Badam, where we have been using for our annual convention since 1990, could no longer contain us. We launched out to search for a new site where we have, can have a large expanse of land, and God directed us to this place. Shortly after, we swung into action to commence development while acquiring more land. We give glory to God that as today we have about 500 acres here across the road. Uh, at this juncture, let me call Pastor M. O. Adeogu. Pastor M. O. Adeogu, is he here? Pastor Adeogu, okay. He is not here yet. He was the man God used to get this land. Thank you. The construction work started slowly with the erection of a story building within three months. We then had the uh, year 2018 as our deadline to move into this place. But along the line, I had the inspiration that we should move in one year earlier than that deadline. The pace of work, therefore, accelerated last year after communicating uh, the new timeline of 2017 to you. I want to appreciate every one of you for your cooperation in making this dream a reality. When I announced the, uh, the need for all of us, for all of us to give our first income in January this year as the first fruit like offering for the project of making this place ready for this convention, every one of you embraced it and gave generously an exercise we had never done before. On the whole, about 600 million was contributed. Did you hear that? About 600 million Aha. was contributed as a result is what you are seeing today. Hallelujah! Apart from this auditorium, which is bigger than what we have in Gospel Town, we were able to build 18 delegate halls with toilets, toilet facilities, with sand bar holes open up road network in the city and provide electricity. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to shout Gideon Esuola hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gideon Esuola. Sit down. 
uh, full details will be given by the chairman of the committee handling the gospel city project later in this convention i thank every one of you and i pray like i've always done that the first fruit like offering you gave this year will launch you into an era of no more lack in jesus name amen just as the church constructions were going on several scores of individuals departments and ditches also embarked on their personal buildings within the city i honestly pray that the lord will grant all of you the grace to complete your projects in jesus name amen i want you to walk through the land i want you to walk through the land and see what jesus has done for us when god gave let us walk through the length and breadth of the land when god gave abraham the promised land of canaan he told abraham to arise and take possession arise walk through the land in the length in the length of it and in the breadth of it for i will give it unto thee genesis 13:17 in the same vein the lord has given this vast stretch of land to us for a possession and i believe the blessings he pronounced on abraham shall be ours in the name of jesus christ he said to abraham in the verses preceding the one i cited above what to 16 he said lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are not it's not word south word east word and west word west word for all the land which you are see i give to you and your descendants forever and i will make your descendants as the dust of the earth so that if a man could number the dust of the earth then the descendants also could be uh, numbered but the sons will be numbered so shall this be for government in jesus name amen such that at a, at a time we come we come when our members gathering on the, this ground shall be very numerous and difficult to number the zeal of the almighty god shall perform it sooner than later in jesus name I want you to stand up and look up and look this word south word I want you to turn turn to turn o beto je duro ki owo da kiri turn turn wo si wa wo so tun turn sit wo seyin ha wo ka kiri ko ori ohun ti oluwa ti se this is the lord strength e yi ni se oluwa and it is fabulous in our eyes o ti se iya no ni oluwa i very confident that this is a godly and fertile land which the lord has given us and the generations coming behind us i also uh, may sit down please ejoko i also feel very strongly that this place has become our promised land a permanent place for us from where we are not going to to move again till the coming of our lord jesus christ we shall all eat the good of the land in jesus name amen only be willing and obedient according to the word of god no what i'm saying is that by the grace of god we are not shifting our convention to anywhere o ti mo so ni pe ni kori ofe olorun a o tun pe ajo odun wa lo ipo miran mo this is the permanent place of our, of, of our convention ibi ni a o ti ma si ajo odun wa titi this makes me to uh, also uh excuse me This takes me to some issues bothering my heart. The first and most important one is that of our growth and development. It is uh, it is obvious that we have moved forward over the years, but we have not yet gotten there. The pace of our race is too too slow this takes me to some issues bothering my heart 
I've tell, told you that. It is obvious that we have moved forward over the years, but we have not gotten there where God is taking us to. But not, it's not shifting us today, removing us from this land, this is the permanent uh, place for our convention. Available facts and figures show that our forward movements have been very, very slow in recent years and in some cases, such as American growth, the variation has been rather insignificant. This means that we need to double up in our evangelism drive for so many. To this end, we have made some instruction to our evangelism uh, department and have empowered it more than ever before. We now uh, expect our evangelists to respond by putting in more effort because the time is short and the end is drawing closer. Let me quickly add that the soul winning assignment is not for the evangelist alone. It is for all of us, children of God. That is the way we have been doing it from the beginning. So, all of you, so we all have to go back to that and get engaged in soul winning business. That is the only way we can grow to match all the Pentecostal ministries. Uh, we are not making competition, but at the same time, we have to work harder. He said, We are not going to do the best. We are not going to do the best. Where we are now is just uh, uh, what, what we do now uh, is better than what we, I mean, what we what were we doing before. The second issue I would like uh, to address is my, my, my desire for you to be like-minded with the founding fathers of this church in concern, concern us for the things of God and this church. Apostle Paul said, For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state for all seek their own not the things which are Jesus Christ Philippians chapter 2 verses 20 and 21 it is very sad to see that the, the, the trends in the church today <coughs> is for people to place their personal interests above uh, the things of God little wonder the drive for evangelism is, what, is winning it is my desire to see a change in you in this area in the course of this convention, a new beginning. Let it be a new beginning of our evangelism I mean, force because we, I mean, in the recent years, uh, the record, our growth is not, is not impressive at all. It is on this note that I want to welcome you to the to this sixty first anniversary and the second annual convention of our church, the first such gathering in our gospel city. The theme of this convention, a new beginning, is very symbolic for two main reasons. Firstly, it is symbolic because we are having it on a brand new land. Secondly, and more importantly, holding a convention on a new beginning on a new land will definitely produce something new in the lives of the participants in Jesus' name. Amen. Be of good cheer throughout the convention and comport yourself properly and be fitting a child of God. You will certainly live here with a testimony. Amen. Once again, I welcome you in the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shall we rise up? Father, I declare 
this convention, convention 2017, open in Jesus' name. Amen. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all. We give you all. We give you all the glory. Oh, we give you that. From the bottom of my heart, let me know okay me. I am very happy. He know me do kuko. I am very glad. Okay me yo. And uh, I am very appreciative. Then na ni mo mo re mo si dube of what you have done. Fu onti o she she. If a leader has a vision, be a siwa ju kamba ni na kan. And the follower, the followers do not cut the vision. He can do nothing. He can do nothing. So what we have, we have, we have seen and what we are doing, it is not the power of anyone. But I, what, what I'm saying is that from the depth of my heart, I thank you very, very much. And I thank you very much of God. And I also want to thank you for your love for me and the vision which God has given to me. And by the grace of God, the contribution you have made. You will not regret it in Jesus' name. You will not regret it in Jesus' name. Definitely, every one of us who has contributed will have a testimony to give. I love you. I love you. Thank you very much.